Hi besties, welcome to Beef Hair Bundles. My name is EP. On today's video, we'll be dissecting Shebe powder. There's a lot of things going on around Shebe powder. Okay, um, a colleague of mine was asking me, uh, what am I using for my hair? So I, keep, I was mentioning, so firstly I mentioned Shebe powder and she was like, oh, she didn't like Shebe powder and she told me her experiences with Shebe powder. And she said uh, Shebe powder scraped off her daughter's hair. And since she had been using Shebe powder, she has been having dandruff. Yes. Uh, what she said is right, but are you using Shebe powder the right way or the wrong way? So now I'll be giving you tips the right way to use Shebe powder and the benefits and also how to use Shebe powder. Let's start off with my client complain. Her daughter uh on her daughter's hair she applied sugar powder on the scalp of her daughter's hair and on her own hair she's having dandruff she also applied sugar powder on her scalp sugar powders are not meant to apply to your scalp yes you don't apply sugar powder to your scalp and this is how you apply sugar powder to your hair sugar powder help to stop hair breakage so when your hair doesn't break, it tends to grow more and how you also apply it matters. Firstly, what is sherry powder? If you don't know what sherry powder is, sherry powder is also gotten from uh, Chad in good number of Chad. You can also get it from African country like Nigeria, but we have it more in Chad. Chad at once are practice. Uh, the use of sugar powder and they are the ones that also enlighten us on how to use sugar powder. So sugar powder is coming from a leaf and is also dried up and used for our hair. So that is actually an amazing uh, product because any product that is chemical free for your hair is actually the best product for hair, right? Any your hair should be chemical free. Product you use for your hair should be chemical free. You use shampoo, it should be mild shampoo, conditioner should be mild conditioning. Your product for your hair should be chemical free. So sugar powder is actually an amazing product for our hair. So you've seen how to use uh sugar powder on our hair. It's actually made for our hairline, not for your scalp. Not for your scalp. Uh a lot of feedback on people who hated uh sugar powder and also find out if you are using the original sugar powder. A lot of things is sold in the market as sugar powder. But they are not shipping powder right find out what exactly you're using and find out how to identify the shipping powder in a raw form right? i cannot describe sugar powder for you in a raw form i'm showing it to you uh, i don't know how if you're uh, like i'll show you the mixture on how you mix your shipping powder but how to you to identify the shipping powder through using smells and it smells like herbs and all so trust me find a way if i find a way i could teach you on how to identify sugar powder in its form in its powdered form with its smell and all if I, be, if I can be able to put them together i'll make a video on that but i have not been able to make videos on how you could identify sugar powder it is important for you to know how to identify sugar powder so that some of us are having allergy using sugar powder uh, you could find out if you are using the right sugar powder or also the wrong sugar powder so applying sugar powder to our head sugar powder is actually a chemical free product and it's actually amazing for hair. It's actually meant to grow your hair. After applying sugar product to the tips of your hair, allow it for a week or a month or the next time you want to braid. Just after applying it, then conroll your hair or braid your hair. Any one you do, the next time you want to uh, lose your hair, check the length of your hair. You notice that your length of your hair has actually grown very well. Sugar powder is also meant for 4C hair. So for those that have a uh, relaxed hair, when I have my relaxed hair, uh, fussy hair, I use sugar powders a lot. So now I have relaxed hair and I, I don't use sugar powder like its form. I usually use it now. But now what I do is that I extract sugar powder oil. What I do is that I get my sugar powder, I put it in a cup, a little quantity, put it in a cup and apply oil to it. And I leave it there for a month, a month or two. No, the longer you leave it, the more active it becomes. Then I leave it there for a month or two. Then I will extract the oil and I'll use it on my hair. That is another way for you to use sugar powder. Right? If you already have 
like my hair now i can also apply shea powder for it directly but not to your scalp apply to your hair like, like i showed you in a video on how you could apply shea powder to your hair not to your scalp right not to your scalp shea powder might burn your hair it might give you dry drop it you might have issues gening on your scalp shea powder is not meant for your scalp it's actually meant for your hairline and it's going to straighten your hairline and grow your hair so well you're going to love using shea powder but it's important for you to use the right quality shea powder it doesn't have this have, uh, have amount or way of using shea powder it just depends on the, the volume of your hair so you can apply two spoon three spoon and apply your favorite oil to it the important thing is that applying your favorite oils so if you cannot get rid of a uh, caca oil because shea powder goes with caca oil but you can also use it with your favorite oils you know based on any of your carrier oils that are your favorite oils you can actually use it with it and actually apply it on it mix it thoroughly like the video i'll show you then apply it to your hair and i'll show you how to apply shea powder on your hair shea powder is actually an amazing amazing product it will strengthen your hair heal your hair stop your hair from breakage and all shea powder is not for your scalp mm, yeah so if you have if you have been applying shea powder to your scalp please stop shea powder is not for your scalp so I want to say thank you for watching. If you have watched this far, thank you so much. So if I find out how I could identify shea powder so that you can be able to get, you know, the, the real thing, I'll let you know. Thank you for watching. Thank you for always being part. Share the video, enlighten your friends, enlighten everyone around you about shea powder, enlighten them. Let me know what you think about the video. If you have any questions about shea powder or you want me to switch anything around shea powder, let me know and I would suggest that. Let me know what you think on the comment section. I'll be waiting for you. And also, use shea powder rightly. Any powder before you use them, find out on how to use this product so you stop having issues. Let my colleagues complain. And it's not nice, right? Because she doesn't know how to use it and she uses it wrongly. Using products the right way is very important. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye.